Hey everybody. Sorry, I'm trying to get logged in in two places at once and it's not cooperating. So I may not get to look at the comments while we're, we're going, but I'll try. So I have a new um, Periscope setup, which is so much better than um, the stack of crates that I had a selfie stick plowed through the side of the last couple weeks. Um, if you guys don't have one of these uh, snake tripods, um, you need to get one. I actually saw somebody earlier in the day say that they have them at Five Below, but I ordered mine on Amazon and it was like $9 shipped and it's pretty stinking amazing. Um, yes, I know I'm sideways, but I can't decide if you're gonna be able to see it. Okay, if I turn you the other way, but we'll see. Maybe, maybe I'm far enough away that you can see. Okay. I was afraid you wouldn't be able to see the whole thing if I turned it the other way. We'll just hang out for a few more minutes and see if we have any other friends join. What are you guys up to? Please tell me where you're from. Oh, Mobile. Hi, Mary. Um, yes, Neely, you need to get one now. Um, I just ordered it on a whim, and it was definitely um, the ticket. Berkeley, Oklahoma, Texas. Oh, Alabama. Yay, I'm not the only one. Fun. Well, I'm sorry that I'm not quite as prepared as I should be. I just was having trouble logging in on the iPad and I wanted to be able to watch the comments. Okay, there, I think I got it. There, I think I got it. Oh, sorry, let me turn the volume off. You guys, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to be so scatter scattered. Okay, well, before I show you anything, um, oh my gosh, it's snowing. It's still like 85 degrees here some days. Um, I'm jealous of people that have real winter or fall or seasons in general. It's just hot here all the time. So, okay, before we get started, let me show you, um, some things. Uh, so I ordered, um, I'm in Birmingham, Alabama. Um, so it's 8.30 here, which is a little late for Periscope. I usually try to do it earlier in the evening, but um, I have a standing date on Wednesday nights with my husband for Survivor, so I had to wait for that to be over before I could get out um, and get started. But I ordered the Wow God um, journal from Illustrated Faith a few weeks ago, and for whatever reason, Etsy hates me. And the last couple times I've ordered things from Etsy, I get charged for them, and then um, my order gets lost. So when she sent me the journal, um, I think she felt bad because it took forever for us to, to get it squared away. She sent me all sorts of goodies. So this is what I have. I have another set of my feather stamps um, with a little journaling card. I have an extra copy of Heather's Last Devotional and I have an extra copy of the Wow God um, stamp set. And uh, I was gonna send this to someone um, so my question is this, should I break it up and send these to three different people or should I just put it all in this cute little bag and make somebody super, super happy? Any opinions? Break it up, break it up, break it up. Okay. So, okay, good. Three people. That's what we'll do. So here's what I'm going to do. Um, after the Periscope is over, you can pop back over to Instagram and just leave a comment on my Instagram for tonight, the Periscope announcement, and I will just let the comments pile up for the night, and I will choose three winners. Um, I'll do like a random integer thing in the morning, and I will send everybody a, um, an, you know, a DM, and if you'll just send me your um, address, I'll get those in the mail tomorrow so that hopefully um, whoever gets the wow guide will have that before the end of the week and can kind of play catch up. So, um, yes, I was super excited that she sent me all that stuff. Um, I am, my handle is the same on Instagram as it is here. It's Taz and Belly. So um, just make sure you're following me there and that you leave a comment on the photo and I will get those in the mail super quick. It's T-A-Z-A-N-D-B-E-L-L-Y. Um, if somebody is kind and would love to type that for me, I would super appreciate it. So, um, all I'm doing tonight is just decorating the outside of my Wow God journal. 
Um, I don't know, if you follow me on Instagram, you might have seen this page um, earlier in the week. Thank you for that. Um, I did this page on Sunday, November 1st. I did not have my Wow God journal yet, and so um, I just kind of wanted to start the Thanksgiving season with a journaling page. And so uh, I journaled here in Psalms 95, and I really liked how the leaves and the acorns turned out and decided that that's probably what I wanted to do for the outside of my journal. Um, so I've already drawn out everything, um, except as I sit here, I realize that I did not go back in and add shading on the acorns. So I'm gonna do that now, um, and then I'm just gonna watercolor. And the reason I decided just to watercolor on Periscope is that I have a lot of people ask about watercolor, and you guys, it could not be easier. And so I thought, I will just throw this together really quickly and you can watch uh, and you can see that you should not at all be intimidated by the process. So while I cross hatch my little acorns, um, do you guys have any questions about anything else? Are you going to tell me what you're doing on a Wednesday night? I hope I didn't interrupt the CMAs for anybody. I'm not a country music fan, so it didn't dawn on me that maybe this was not the greatest night in the world to ask you to hang out. Okay, these are um, pigment liners by Stabler. I'll just sit that there. There's my little mini advertisement. Um, I order <laughs> eating crispers. That sounds delicious. I don't even know what that is. I don't even know how I said it. I probably said acorns instead of acorns. Um, so, a marathon of my YouTube videos? Oh, that's, that's scary because I have a really deep southern accent. Um, these are pigment liners by, do I have any art training prior to Bible journaling? Yes. Oh, I won't tell you the end of Survivor, but it was a good one. Um, I went to, um, I went to college as an art major. Um, I concentrated in, um, graphic design and traditional printmaking, and I've always been a drawer. So, um, yes, I've been doing that, uh, for a really, really long time. Um, okay, I think I got sidetracked, but sorry, the comments are so delayed on the other, um, on the other device, so sometimes it throws me off. So what I was saying is, these are the pigment liners by Stadler. These are my favorite pens. Um, I went to University of Alabama at Birmingham, UAB. Hey, Megan, I'm glad you could join us. Um, anyway, so these are similar to Microns. Um, I like this, uh, six pack. It comes with um, six different sizes. Oh, that's so cool. I don't know any other printmakers. Everybody always thinks that's like the weirdest major of all time. I was a lithographer. I did stone lithography, which I realize is not a way to make a living, but it was super fun to do in college. And roll tide to whoever said that. Okay, so I'm just going to um, jump right in. Let me make sure you can see this really well. Um, yeah, it's like they're like 14 or $15 for a six pack. Um, they last a really, really long time. That's just my second pack since February. So um, I highly recommend it. And I'm going to be using just these um, Pentel Aquash brush brushes. Um, I do have a cup of water here. Um, they are, you know, filled up with water. So I don't normally have to dip them. But just in case I ran out, I decided I'd have a little bowl of water here. Um, I have not posted the bullet journaling video yet because I'm doing a blog post, and so I was kind of saving the video from, for that, but um, I will update you on that, Mary. No, they do not bleed. Um, at least I haven't had any problems with them bleeding. Um, I'll show you. So this is the page that I showed you earlier, and you can see there is a little bit of a shadow on the back, but I would not consider that a bleed, and if you do... Um, you know, any work on this side of the page at all, I promise you, you won't be able to see that um, pen work. So that's my favorite pen. Yes, they last longer than Microns, uh, and I've had no problem with bleeding. So I'm using those aquash brushes and just an inexpensive watercolor set from Michaels. Um, I think it's like $3.99 or $4.99. It's much more expensive on Amazon, but you can get it at a local shop really, really inexpensively. Um, these are chalky, and... Um, so when you're completely done with your page, you may want to take just a, um, a paper towel and kind of buff the you know top of the page just with like a soft towel, just kind of go over it in a circular motion. It'll take a lot of that chalkiness off and it'll keep it from um, rubbing off on your fingers. Um, 
yeah, someone likes a lot of pink and purple. Um, it is me, but it's also my daughter's. <laughs> so um, I'm just going to start with the leaves, and I'm going to do a lot of oranges. Um, I'll probably add some pink just um, because I like pink, and so I try to keep it, you know, a happy fall palette. Uh, and I like to mix colors, and I'm not trained in any way in watercolor. You guys, it is so super simple. So um, I'm just going to grab some paint and start putting it on. And the texture of this paper is kind of like cardstock, so it's not super absorbent. So unlike the Bible pages, um, it, it doesn't really soak in the pages, um, at least not for a while. So it kind of we kind of have to build up some layers and let it dry for a while. And so I, I am not precise. I usually would do all the orange on this entire spread and then all the red and all the purple. Um, but because the texture of this paper is so different, I'm just going to kind of do one little leaf at a time. You do not have to stay in the lines. My pencil lines are still on here. I didn't erase anything. So um, nothing here is precious. Uh, if, if you find that not enough water is coming out of your brush as you, you know, try to pick up the paint, you can just squeeze it just a little bit. It does not take much. And I like a little bit of water and a lot of pigment. And you kind of have to add a lot of water to the little pot, but then just stir and stir and stir until it gets a lot of pigment going. These are by Pentel, and they're just aqua brushes or aqua wash brushes. Um, and in case you're not familiar, the nib screws off the top, and you just fill it up with water. And some water flows automatically just with gravity. Uh, and if you need a little bit more, you can just kind of squeeze it um, just a little bit. Um, and I don't wash my brushes. Hi, Tanya. I don't wash my brushes um, in between colors, but you could certainly dab it on a paper towel if you wanted. And, um, but I'm a color mixer, so that doesn't really bug me too much. I don't want a ton of green because I don't want everything to look all fresh and springy, but um, we'll use a little bit. Did I have a template for the leaves? No, I freehanded those. I just um, did a Google Google search for fall leaves and looked at the images page and just kind of flipped through and found some shapes that I liked. Um, I thought about doing a leaf stamp set, but I waited too late and I was afraid we were gonna push into the Christmas season before they would get here. So maybe I'll um, save that for next year if we're still stamping and people are still buying things like that next year. But I do have some exciting news. I do have some um, stamps that just got a proof back for today, um, a floral stamp, which I've had a lot of requests for. And I'm just gonna be selling those in my Etsy shop, which is currently empty if you happen. Um, leaves are always necessary, I know, I know, but I hated for them to come out like right at Christmas when everybody had Christmas on the brain. But um, yeah, I have some florals, a floral set I just got to proof today. Um, I haven't seen the actual stamps. I just saw the artwork and it looked really, really nice. Um, and so I'm hoping those will be in the shop maybe, maybe before the end of November. Um, we'll see. Um, I've had lots of, yeah, I've had lots of requests for floral. So um, I hope that they are as pretty in person as they were on my screen. I had a hard time trying to find um, a place to have them done. Um, the only stamps I had done prior were the ones through Illustrated Faith. So, um, yes, floral is great for all things. I love flowers. My Bible is full of flowers. Oh, wow. Okay, well, I'll have to pop over and look at that, Tanya. I realize I'm probably answering your questions or commenting a little late, but I'm watching your comments on the iPad and... At least it's quiet here tonight. Usually you have to listen to commentary from my kids during um, 
Periscope videos, but everybody was pretty tired and went to bed pretty early this evening. Thank you, Tanya. So I'm like, I mean, I'm kind of racing through this. It really does not have to be, um, you know, precise in any way. I didn't get enough pink going on up here. And once it dries, you can always go back and add some layers if you need some other colors. It's so quiet. I always feel bad. Like I should start um, playing you guys music in the background or something. So does anybody have any exciting weekend plans? Yes, this setup is so much better. It's the best $10 I've spent. Amazon is a dream. How much time do you dedicate to art worship? Um, I try to work in my Bible daily. Um, that does not always happen. Um, so I at least aim for like four or five days a week. And I usually spend uh, anywhere from 30 minutes to an hour at a time. Um, depending, oh, fall mini sessions, that's fun. Oh, maid of honor, how exciting. We have a wedding in a few weeks. We, um, we're headed to Tuscaloosa on Saturday for the Bama LSU game. Um, I'm trying not to think about it too much because that's going to be a tough one, but it'll be fun. Anyway, so I try to journal every day, but that doesn't, you know, always happen. I actually just adjusted my work schedule. Um, I did have to be at work at like 7.30 in the morning, and while I only live 30 miles from my office, it was taking me almost two hours to get there some mornings just because I have a really crappy commute. And so I'm now just working like six and a half hours in the office, so I don't have to be there until 9.30. And so I'm getting to work in my Bible in the morning now instead of in the evening, which um, gives me a lot more time. Oh, that's so fun with a workshop. I was just saying to some friends this week that I wish we all lived closer together because it would be super fun to get together and journal together. But this virtual friendship is where it's at, I'll tell you. I do like this Periscope thing. At least we can kind of feel like we're all hanging out in the same room. So see... We're like 10 minutes in and I've got half of the page done. So we'll just flip this around. Yay for internet friends. Oh, that's awesome. Trim tab. Okay, sorry. I was just trying to make sure you guys could still see well. So let's see. I saw that on Facebook. That's so cool. That'll be so fun for you all to journal together. Yes, the other Kristen. I knew who you were talking about. I ha No, I haven't been to Trim Tab, but I've heard really good things about it. Um, I actually live about... A half an hour outside of Birmingham um, but I work downtown and um, we we drive into the city a lot to hang out so um, but yeah I've heard really good things about trim tab I, I would love to do a local workshop um, I've, I've talked about that with some other girls um, Birmingham has a lot of great places for bands yeah I, definitely short loose strokes are better um, and I like to kind of work in a circular motion because if you work in a circular um, motion, I feel like it looks a lot more organic. You don't have as many brush strokes and the colors seem to mix a lot. Um, so that's kind of my method. Good, I'm so glad. I feel like I, like, 
Sometimes I feel like I'm repetitive, like I show you guys the same things all the time. Um, I got these pens on um, Amazon. Oh, good. <laughs> thanks. I felt like the flip through was a little awkward, I'll be honest. I felt like I um, said a lot of the things multiple times. But um, the water brushes, I got these from Amazon. Um, they're by Pentel, but you can get them at Hobby Lobby or Michael's. Um, I think they're like, I don't know, maybe less than $10 for a three pack. So not not super cheap, but not, you know, overpriced by any stretch. Oh, I love that idea. Yeah, I do need to do a colored pencil demo. Um, sorry, I love the idea of the thankful tree with leaves. That's beautiful. We did um, actually shared um, a DIY with a free printable on the blog today for anybody who might be interested of um, thankful cards. Hold on, let me see if I can get to one. They look like this. Um, they don't all look like this. Some of them say, like, um, I love Thanksgiving because, or I love, and it has a blank for you to write somebody's name in because. Um, and so I shared these on um, the blog today, and my kids have been filling them out for the last couple weeks, and they're hilarious. But a thankful tree with leaves would be beautiful. I do need to do a color pencil demo. I haven't done that. I think the only reason I really haven't done that is because it, it takes a lot longer with colored pencils. Uh, and so I feel like, you, you know, I feel like sometimes my videos can get a little long-winded anyway. So I don't almost hate for you guys to have to torture yourselves by watching that. Yeah, I bet. That's a fun idea. No, no way it wouldn't be too long. Well... Maybe maybe it's not best for a periscope, and maybe I'll shoot a blog video or something. Torture, pure torture. I know I say that, but then I never mind watching long periscopes myself. You now my husband gives me the side eye because I usually do that late in um, late at night in bed while he's trying to sleep. But there's so many fun people to follow on Periscope now that I used to I felt like I could just watch everybody live, but now. Um, no, I can't keep up with them. There's so many great things to watch. So, I think I need a little more yellow. I'm going to make this backside brighter. And I have a fun little stamping um, shortcut I'm going to show you also. So, let's get our little acorn in and then we'll do something fancy for the background. Will I write? So I'm talking screenshot that. Oh, um, yeah, I need to put, I need to, well, I'll have to look though. I don't know if I can do that while I'm periscoping, but um, maybe I need to put together like a quick little, these are my favorite people to follow. Yeah, you can. That's true. You could just look and see who all I'm following. I mean, I'm following a good number of people, but I don't think it's like a crazy time. Um, and I think almost all of them are Bible journalers. There's a few like um, bloggers or um, like tech kind of things that I might follow, but for the most part, it's all artsy. Oh, I don't like that. Hold on. Need to fix that little guy. Okay, so I'm sorry. Let me flip it around so you can see. It says Wow God. This is the Illustrated Faith Wow God journal. These are not stamps. I drew these, but I actually talked earlier that maybe I need to do a leaf stamp set because I kind of like them a lot. Okay, so I'm going to add a little bit of background color and then I'll show you a quick little um, stamp shortcut. Um, that you guys are probably all familiar with, but um, okay, so I think I'm going to do kind of a turquoisey blue background just because I think it'll be a nice contrast. I am not on the creative team, no, but you guys are in such good hands. There are lots of lovely girls. Yes to leaf stamps. Okay, so let's talk about leaf stamps. Would we Would we buy leaf stamps when it wasn't Thanksgiving, would we use leaves all year round? Maybe just not throw the acorn in there? 
And so if I didn't throw the acorn in there, is there something else that you think you would like to see with the leaves? Okay. Well, I will, Gar oh, garlands would be pretty. You'll know I love the florals. The, the first set is gonna be florals and stems and branches. And berries, okay. Well, you guys are giving me lots of good ideas. Well, the, the first set has a few words. Uh, it's mostly florals. Leaves, trees, banners, and words, pine cones. So essentially what I should do is I should just ask you guys before I design another set so that you can tell me what to do because you guys are smarter than me, I think. Stamp set will be out hopefully sometime in November, but it could be really early December. Honestly, um, I'm not sure how long production will take. Um, I was told two to three weeks, um, but um, I don't know if that was two to three weeks from the initial design submission or two to three weeks after I approve the um, samples. Sprigs. Yeah, advisory committee. I love it. So um, I guess it really could be, they could be out. Um, my shop name is Taz and Belly on Etsy. It's currently empty. Um, it does have a new banner that includes the word stamps on it, so you'll know you got to the right place. But um, honestly, I don't do a ton of Etsy work. I mean, I do a ton of uh, freelance work, but um, most of my re repeat clients contact me outside of Etsy. So I think on Etsy, I've had like 26 sales, despite the fact that I'm pretty hardcore busy with design orders all the time. Mostly I do like invitations and stationary sort of stuff, Christmas cards. Um, I've actually got some like Bible journaling-esque Christmas cards. I have not stopped accepting Christmas card orders. I know that I said that I wasn't taking orders after October 31st, but that didn't really happen. Um, the best way to contact me is by email. Um, I do not take orders outside of Etsy or email, so you know, don't send me a Facebook message. Or you can send me a Facebook message or an Instagram message. We can chat all day, but that doesn't constitute as an order. Um, so the email address is Kristen at tazandbelly.com, or you can just visit the blog tazandbelly.com and do um, and click the contact button. I do not do local shows. Um, that's just a lot of like pre-printed stuff that you can't guarantee sells and I usually just print as I go um, and I, I have a full-time job so I, I worry that if I did a show like that that I would be so overwhelmed um, and not be able to keep up and I'm not even getting to go to Christmas Village this year my mom's going tomorrow and I'm super jealous and for you non-local guys it's just a local like holiday fair it's always the first week of November and um, it's a pretty big deal in Birmingham. My mom actually used to sell at Christmas Village when I was a little girl. I come from a very creative family, so. No, design work is not my full-time job. I did go to school um, to be a graphic designer, but I learned pretty early on that I don't operate well on someone else's design schedule, so I think freelance is better suited for me. Um, I'm actually a paralegal by day. I work for a defense firm in the Birmingham area, which I do love. Um, it is quite different to go from design to um, the legal legal world, but um, I like it. It's a good contrast for me. And I was um, not stay-at-home mom material, you guys. Thank you so much, Amanda. I appreciate that. Yeah, so opposite ends of the spectrum. Um, I love my babies, and I love being creative and being at home with them, but my husband also works from home, and so I could never have, um, like, we, we can't all four be here all together all the time. Oh, fun, you're a paralegal too. I have been a paralegal. I've been with the firm I'm at now for almost nine years, and I worked as a, um, actually a freelancer, our contract paralegal, I guess, before that, for about eight years. I always thought that I would teach um, elementary art. Uh, I fully intended to go back to grad school. I took a year off because my husband and I, we got married um, and he was still in school. And so I took a year off and was planning to go back to grad school to teach elementary art. And I think I would have loved it, but I love what I do now. Yeah, actually I've 
seeing that it seems like a lot of uh, Bible journalers are art teachers. Yeah, I, I think I would have loved it, but um, I'm afraid it would have stifled my creativity. Uh, I, I need a little structure in my day, and then I like to come home and be creative at night. So, this pa the paper is, um, it's a really weird texture. It's, I would say that it's like cardstock, but cardstock seems to absorb the watercolors a little bit better. Um, this almost repels the paint when you first, you know, put it on. And I'm not smart, and so unlike Amanda when she showed us her lovely watercoloring techniques, I probably should have gotten the paper. It is kind of shiny. Um, I probably should have like dampened the paper before I got started, but it seems like some colors work really well. Like the yellows and the pinks soaked up pretty well quickly, but then you can see like this green color. Of course, it could just be, you know, the area of the paper too. I can't quite decide. I am not getting a lot of water going on. Sorry, so we'll try to fin finish this up pretty quickly and then I'll show you what I'm going to do with the stamps. <laughs> you sound like me. Um, eight hours to write a blog post, that's funny. I have... Thank you so much. I wrote a lot, well, I posted a lot more often in September and October because I did some, um, some blogging challenges. I did write 31 days. And then um, in September, I did blog, blog Timber with Bailey Jean. And um, so I'm posting a lot less frequently and a lot less uh, long-winded this month. So tell us, what, what was this eight-hour blog post about? Did you say that already and I missed it? See how this blue seems to like resist the paper? I don't know, it's weird. It doesn't seem to do that in every, oh, we're gonna laugh. It doesn't seem to do this in every area or with every color, so I don't know what the deal is. Coloring books, oh, fun. Like adult coloring books or just coloring books in general? My daughters think this new adult coloring book, you know, fad is amazing um, because as much as they like, you know, little kid coloring books, they think it's pretty cool to color in mom's coloring books or coloring books that should be mom's, I guess. That's so cool. Okay, so I'm kind of done with this background and I may add some, like, design elements with a pen, um, you know, like, I don't know, some cross hatching or polka dots or some business going on in the background, but I um, also wanted to use a stamp. Okay, so I think that's pretty much what I'm going to do um, as far as the watercolor goes. <laughs> Yeah, my kids like the Disney princess ones too. So let's make sure you can still say that. Okay, so these are the stamps that came with the Wow God. Thank you. This is the stamp that came with the Wow God journal. And I really like this little plus, plus mark. Um, but th this is the acrylic block that I have. It's huge. And I really need to get a small one, but I haven't gotten a small one yet. So if you don't have a small... Um, acrylic block, I would just suggest that you find something small that you can stick your stamp to. So what I use is an Elmer's glue stick and I just stick it on the top. And it works perfect. Um, yeah, uh, I think it lo looks nice for the background when you um, add, you know, a couple of colors together. So, sorry, I'm trying to make sure you can see all the things. Um, yeah, so you can use the like end of an ink pen, but this just worked out good because it's flat and it's the right size. And so, um, 
yeah and it works perfect and I just want to add just you know a little texture in the background um, and also I mean it's small enough that if you need to you know stamp over I use the stays on ink pad and I swear every single time I use it or recommend it on Periscope or Instagram or the blog, I get some some pushback about how it bleeds. But you guys, I really have not had any problems. Um, now I will say when the ink pad is super fresh, that the ink is really, really dark. And so, you know, I might would recommend stamping over paint so that it won't go all the way through. But um, I had a huge problem with it bleeding. And um, if, if you let it dry out a little bit, it works even better. So, um, yeah, I don't know why. I know. I was just about to say, and it smells so good. Um, I'm smelling it right now. No, I'm sure my husband is listening from the from the bedroom, and he's thinking. So my wife is in the kitchen, talking to her imagine. I mean, in the living room, talking to her imaginary friends, and now she's getting high on um, stamp ink. Yeah, it bleeds a little bit when it's brand new. But um, another thing you can do is that. Um, take this little plastic cover off so that it doesn't hold it so um, so airtight it'll dry out just a little bit and then it won't um, you know it won't bleed quite as much I'm guessing you guys are laughing because I said I was getting high on paint fumes but um, it smells like okay you know what it smells like it smells like cheerleader markers do you guys know what I'm talking about almond it does kind of smell like almond but it, that's not ever I never would have thought to say that Almond extract. It does kind of smell like almond. Wow. You learn something new every day. Um, these are the pens. They are pigment liners by Stadler. And they are my absolute favorite. And, um, you know, not to like beg you to use affiliate links or anything, but if you, um, oh my gosh, you can get them on Amazon. If you need help finding anything, if you go to the blog, um, it's tazandbelly.com. There is a picture of a Bible in the sidebar, and I think it says, like, see inside my Bible or something. And if you click on it, it takes you to a landing page with all of my journaling-related posts. And um, one of them, there's a supply list from, like, way back in March, but there's also one from October that is, um, like, my most recent favorites. And it is an Amazon shopping list, pretty much. And so... Um, yes, I'll earn a commission off of it. So if you don't want to give me a commission, that's totally cool. I get that. Um, but it may help you um, track some things down. So I think that's all the stamping that I'm going to do. Yes, you don't even need to take notes. Um, even if you don't use the links, um, it'll spell everything out for you. Um, yeah, these, I like this pack. Um, it starts at, a, the thickest one is a 0 0.8. It has an... Um, an 08050302201 and a 0.05. Um, I actually used a little stamp from the Wow God stamp set. It's the little plus sign. And since, yes, it doesn't cost you any extra, but still, I know some people are weird about giving bloggers money. Um, since I didn't have a small enough acrylic block, I just stuck it on the end of a glue stick. So that's kind of my little trick about, um, I like the acrylic block, but even the small ones sometimes are too big for the little textures. So. Um, even when your glue stick is all out of glue, you can use it for that. Um, I may do a little bit of like pen, you know, doodling or something that you may or may not even want to endure. But um, that is the good thing about this paper. Unlike the Bible pages, the, the pen seems to write fine on top of the watercolor here. Like I haven't had any issue. Um... I haven't had any issue with that. Well, I think sometimes people have problems with links because they're not disclosed. And so people feel like bloggers are linking to things that are going to make them money and then they don't tell you about it. So, but I have a disclosure on the blog and I try to always point out, don't stamp much now that you can take that off. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. It just peels right off. Um, and you just stick it back on the card. So, um, 
if you're not familiar with like how clear stamps work, they just come on this little sheet and you just peel them off. Um, and typically you would stick them on an acrylic block like this that you could see through and use to stamp. Clearly I need to clean this bad boy off. But um, I didn't have a small one and so I just stuck it on the end of a glue stick. So there's that. Any other questions? Um, I probably won't keep you guys too much longer. How do I organize? Yeah, I haven't organized mine yet, but um, Natalie Elphinstone posted the most amazing little tutorial on the Illustrated Faith um, blog this week about putting them in clear pockets in a three ring binder, and I'm all over that. So um, yeah, that is that is like one of the things on my list. Um, I'm sorry for those of you, I've said this like a hundred times, but I know we've got new people joining. It's the Stadler pigment liner. Um, the point two is my favorite size ever. Um, so yeah, the, um, the, the video, the Natalie Elphinstone video is on the Illustrated Faith blog. I think it was this week, maybe like Monday, but it could have been, it could have been late last week. If anybody knows that definitively, please, by all means. Tips on keeping a steady hand. Um, practice. Uh, I know that that's like, that sounds like such a cop out. Oh, I just lost my little, that little stamp. Hold on, friends. Okay. I know that sounds like a cop out for somebody um, who hasn't been lettering for a long time and, um, you know, wants some shortcuts, but really, the, the more that you work with a pen in your hand, the steadier you'll get. Um, and writing with your arm instead of your wrist will help. So like write like this. Um, and yeah, I don't, I mean practice. That's really all, all, all I know to say. Um, I need to do an updated video on pen. Um, I did a lettering video back in the spring. Um, but I was still pretty new to faith journaling at the time, and so, I mean, maybe it was helpful, but I think I probably have a lot more to say about things now. Um, does anybody else have any questions about techniques or um, favorite products or just, I don't know, life in general? Clear pocket, yeah, the clear pockets are not, they were not cheap. Uh, at least not the Midori ones, but the ones that Natalie was talking about, they like can get a whole pack of them at um, Hobby Lobby, like in the albums, album section. And I didn't feel like they were nearly as expensive um, as the Midori ones. So I don't know. I don't know like if I want to do veins for my leaf, for my, for these leaves. Um, you should just, you should jump in. I mean, really, uh, I, I watched for so long before I actually did anything, and I just wish that I had picked it right up way back, you know, in November of last year. File folders with tabs in a box. Yeah, that's a great idea, too. I'm going to have to start figuring it out because I didn't really have that many stamps, but now I've gotten these two. Um, how do I decide what to draw? Um... Yeah, I'm an overthinker too. I'll be honest, I don't really draw a lot as far as like matching up the, I need, yeah, a stash. Okay, I need, what I need to do is I need to write these down. Okay, so we want to do a, we need to do it like some sort of an organization situation and on the go. Um, so a lot of times I don't necessarily do imagery that has something to do with the verse, especially when I'm doing like leaves or florals or something like that. Um, so, I mean, a lot of times I'll just do, you know, random images that I think are beautiful and then somehow tie it. But, but sometimes, you know, the verses like really work with just a certain image. Like I used a telephone recently, although at the moment I couldn't tell you what in the world that page was about. <laughs> If you haven't noticed yet, it's kind of hard for me to think about like actual things and draw at the same time. <laughs> I'm a little awkward. I have a like just a little pen case that I use to keep all of my stuff in. Um, and then I have like a little 
binder that I keep my sermon notes in that I'll keep this little, like these little journals and some stamps in, um, in my Bible. And I just kind of throw them in my like work bag. So I don't know if I have anything like revolutionary to share on that front, but I do need to do a stash video. Do I start a brand new Bible every year? I don't know the answer to that because this is the first year I've been doing this. Like, so I got my Bible at the end of November last year, but I didn't actually start journaling in it until February. And so, um, bye Tanya, thanks for popping in. Um, I didn't start until February and my main Bible is pretty, pretty stinking full at this point, but I did get a second Bible, um, to start working in just for when there was a verse I wanted to look at and it was already, you know, gone. <laughs> um, you know, I had another place to journal and also because my girls fight over mine, not in the present, but you know, they're like, Oh, that's going to be mine when I get big. And so I decided it was better just to go ahead and have two. So I could be like, see, here's one for you and one for you. So, um, okay. You would love a new lettering video. Okay. I think maybe I should do like some sort of lettering sheet or down like a printable or something with some tips on it or some things to trace. Lettering is definitely one of the things that I love the most. And I've been doing that for a long time. I'm a fake calligrapher though. I wouldn't know what to do with like an actual nice pen. I'm a good faker. And you guys, all I'm doing right now is just going back and adding like lots of little squiggly, um, curly cues and whatnot. Um, I just like to add some dimension to all of my things. Yes, absolutely leave to leave one to each of my kids. I just think that's such a cool legacy. I actually wrote a blog post last week about um, Bible journaling with my kids and um, the legacy. Have I done brush lettering? Um, I don't do brush lettering with uh, like a pen or a marker, but I do like to do watercolor brush, um, like these aquash brushes. Um, so maybe I could do like a quick little something about that. So I, th I think like, I know that mine say that too. When I die, can I have your Bible? Like who gets it mom? I'm like, really? Do we have to talk about my death at this precise moment? How come I, I, I don't know. I said that a minute ago. Like I couldn't decide if I needed veins on them or not. I didn't do veins on the ones in my Bible. And so I can't decide if I want to do them here or not. I'm almost afraid to, I'm almost afraid to do it. Cause what if I don't like it? So yeah, I'm the person that buys Bibles at estate sales. I have a nice little stack and I hope this doesn't hurt anybody's feelings, but I like to, I mean, if they're already, you know, damaged and falling apart and written in and nobody wants them, like I like to use them for mixed media projects. And so like I'm using some of them for some collaged Christmas cards this year um, and to, to paint like prints and stuff on. So I have a little bit of a Bible stash. I um, actually did a project with Bible pages and dictionary pages for my senior um, project in college. And so I have uh, a lot of like leftover little pages there. And so I'm always adding to my collection. Well guys, I think for the most part, this is about what it's gonna look like. Um, I'll go ahead and show you um, just what else I've done in here, just in case um, I've seen some other. <laughs> yeah, I don't know, I need to think about the veins, honestly. Like I kinda like them the way they are. Um, but anyway, so I've seen lots of beautiful things on um, Instagram this week in everyone's wow God journal and it always makes me feel super intimidated but um, I'll go ahead and show you like where I am so far in the process um, I'm not finished with the Jesus page uh, because I got my journal late I was a day late um, and so I actually worked on this a little bit today but I still want to add some journaling um, and I can't decide if I'm just gonna sort of journal in the negative space or if I want to add a card of some kind or like I don't know, maybe a tip in. So I started with the salvation page and everything in here is just watercolor and um, pigment liner. I mean, I'm kind of trying to stick with the same um, color scheme. The corners, these are just like cross hatched. I don't know like, if you can't see it. Let me like pick it up and maybe you can see it. 
um, a little bit closer, just, you know, really kind of random. Um, I will say that I did have a little bit of a mistake here on the salvation page. I don't know if you can tell, there's a little bit of white out above the eye. Um, I had a dot on my eye. Um, and it was way too close to the is, and I didn't really like the way that looked. And so um, I just, I used this little, guys, do you have this little, um, like, liquid paper dry line in your life? Because if you don't, you totally need it. Um, I must admit that I use this in my Bible all the time. And the Bible is cream, so you will, you know, be able to tell a difference. But um, if what your, your mistake was black on a cream page, I can assure you that the little white stripe on your Bible page is a lot more subtle. So um, that's your BFF. So here's the first place that I use these little, the little cross stamps on the end of my uh, Elmer's glue. Um, so yeah, I use it at work all the time, but I have not really considered using it in the Bible, but it, it works, friends. And then, yeah, this is yesterday's page. I had to take my little doodad off. I just had this little card for journaling. Um, and it just sort of like clipped here on the side. Yeah, I have lots of mistakes and <laughs> problem solving. Um, I love these little mini um, like clothespins. You can get them in little, on little cards at the Target dollar aisle. And they're tiny enough that you can use them as a bookmark in um, your Bible. So I love that. So I painted this whole spread yesterday when I did the family page because I knew that I kind of wanted those two pages to go together. And um, I like the arrow too. Um, I have a thing with arrows. I wish that I had... Um, like my notebook handy so I could tell you the exact verse, but um, there's a Bible verse about your children being quivers, uh, um, arrow, arrows in your quiver, um, and I love that. And I actually want um, an arrow tattoo for my girls, which is probably going to make my mom have a heart attack, but I'm trying to work my nerve up. But um, it would look very similar to that. So maybe I'll do, oh yeah, the, the arrow clips. Um, I love arrows. They are, they're my thing. Um, so I did this spread yesterday and um, like painted um, both pages. Um, and then just journaled yesterday. And then today I just did some stickers, um, you know, for some things that I am passionate about. So um, I've got, obviously, I've got to fix this tab from the other side, but I just kind of like threw it on at the last minute. So that's as far as I've gotten um, tomorrow's piece. And I don't, I don't know where we're going with that one, but we'll see. Um, yeah, it, it may be, it is definitely a verse in Psalms. Um, I'm not, Periscope your tattoo experience. Oh my gosh, wouldn't that be great? Um, I'm kind of a wuss, so um, that that will be interesting. Megan, okay, so these stickers and these stickers and all of the little word confetti and the heart are all part of the um, Illustrated Faith uh, Genesis kit with Bella Boulevard. Um, I actually won one of those that Shauna gave away like a million zillion years ago, and I still have some stickers left, and I use that. Um, yeah, I hope it tickles and not hurt, but I'm kind of a wuss, so we'll see. Um, <laughs> These are, um, the gold ones are, um, uh, I don't know the brand, and they're really far away right now, um, or I would grab them and tell you, but I got them at Hobby Lobby, so super accessible. Um, these craft paper ones, um, the, the arrow clips actually came with the devotional kits. So, um, like, when you get the kit, it looks like this, and it has a little clip at the top with a little card, and then here is Heather Greenwood's um, little devotional kit. It also has a little yellow arrow, so see, you could win one. Um, if you are, if you happen not to be here at the beginning of the Periscope, um, if you'll go over to um, Instagram when we, when we log off and leave a comment on my Instagram post from tonight, I have... Um, a Wow God journal, um, a um, a kit by Heather Greenwood, and then a set of my feather stamps. And I'm going to give those away to three different people first thing in the morning. So as long as you follow my Instagram account and comment tonight, then you have a fairly good chance of getting this. Or yeah, or you commented already. See, I don't know because I can't see my phone right now. Um, but these craft paper stickers are the only ones that I didn't say yet are from A Beautiful Mess. Um, I subscribed to their messy box for a while. Um, I don't anymore right now because I needed to take a monetary break from things that come in the mail. But um, they had all sorts of really fun things. Um, and Instagram, on Instagram, my name is Taz and Belly. Um, T-A-Z-A-N-D-B-E-L-L-Y. Um, 
And just in case you haven't figured that out yet, those are the nicknames of my daughters. Um, my oldest daughter's name is Ella, and God bless her, she answers to Billy and Billy Button and all other things that rhyme with Ella and um, Ellie. And then my youngest daughter, Sophie, is like a handful. She's such a whirling dervish, and so her daddy started calling her Taz when she was about six months old, and it stuck, so... Taz and Billy it is. Well, okay, like, I've kept you guys an, almost an hour, uh, and I really, I told my husband, I was like, oh, it's gonna be like a 20-minute scope, no big deal, so, um, I'm gonna let you go and get back to your families, or your beds, or Survivor, or whatever it was that you guys were doing before you joined me, but I'm so glad you got on tonight. Um, I had a really good time hanging out, and hopefully somebody will get some really happy news in the morning. Your company name is your daughter's name, too. That's so cool. Um, I wanted something that was um, tied to my kids because I blog about them a lot, but also, you know, when they got too big and said, hey, mom, please don't put us on the interweb, that it still, you know, sounded fun. Thank you guys for coming. I, I appreciate it so much. Um, <laughs> yeah, maybe so. Um, all right, guys. Thank you.